Welcome to The Real News Network. I'm Sharmini Pires coming to you from Baltimore. Over 30 people have been killed in what some are calling a second revolution in Burkina Faso. On October 31st, President Blaise Compare of Burkina Faso was brought to his knees and forced to resign by his people. The pivotal and final act that pushed the people to their brink was that Compare was seeking a change in the constitution to extend his rule. After 27 years as president of Burkina Faso, the Burkinabe people had enough. When they took to the streets, one million people gathered. They torched the parliament and brought an end to Compare's rule. Soon thereafter, the country's military decided to appoint Lieutenant Colonel Zida to lead an interim government. But this further angered the people and sparked further protests. They insisted on a civilian transitional government. Joining me today in our Baltimore studio are Paul Sankara and Nyaka Lagoke. Paul is the brother of the late president of Burkina Faso, Thomas Sankara, the revolutionary Burkinabe military captain. Paul Sankara studied at the University of Ogodugo and lives in Washington, D.C. now. And Dr. Nigaka Lagoke is a specialist in African political affairs, development, and Pan-Africanism. He also founded the revival of the Pan-Africanism Forum. Thank you both for joining us today. Thank you very much for the opportunity. It's a pleasure. Paul, let me begin with you. Uh, give us some context to the lineage to the present. Okay, what's happened to uh, Burkina Faso uh, brings us to uh, pay a tribute first to the people who uh, has been assassinated. More than 30 people, as you pointed out, and uh, we just want to uh, join to their family and say that they didn't uh, die in vain. In 1966, uh, in a few details, difference, uh, grassroots uh, led by trade union mainly, the uh, first revolution, sort of speaking, happened in what we used to call the fo former upper volta. Uh, so the third revolution, we should say, in Burkina Faso uh, last October is not a sudden movement. It's a summary of what the, the, the social, political the fabric has been done decades and decades before, where it is the students, trade unions, leftists, uh, military officers, and the civil society. Combine it to the willing of less comparison regime to uh, change the constitution after seven years to be a candidate in 2015. Uh, on top of that, people were fed up also because of the, the, the really expensive uh, level of living in Burkina Faso, except for uh, quite a few people, uh, less comparison families and those who surrounded uh, or member of the, his regime. So it's, it's the combination of all these factors that uh, lead the youth mainly uh, joined by political organization to uh, say enough is enough to the uh, less compulsory regime. Now, I guess nobody can claim that they really through the analysis so the, the pace and the, the speed uh, that the denouement will, will occur. Uh, so we were really surprised in terms of how quick and how fast it happened. But yes, at the same time, we, we, we knew that something will happen because it's a, he reached the dead, uh, the, the, the deadline, the, 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 the really uh, the way that people cannot accept. Were it. you really surprised? I mean, you are someone who's very connected to what's going on. Uh, a, a million people don't come out on the streets just unannounced, somebody was organizing, you must have known about it. Yes, but, but let me tell something that uh, I often hear about uh, Burkina in general. They really uh, not quick to react, uh, taking time like a slow engine, but when it started, this social engine, political engine, uh, 
nothing can stop it. And it looks like uh, they give me the proof of uh, the evidence that people have been studying on the, the, the population or the, the sociology of the Burkina. And uh, yes, I was really surprised. I knew something would happen because we, uh, they said no to uh, the Blaise Kombore has a new candidate in 2015 after 20 years in his power. Uh, they didn't say no to the, his political party, the organization. They said no to him, himself as a new candidate uh, for next year. So, yeah, okay. What is the uh, makeup of the people that are turning out? What's the class base? Oh, okay, like Paul said, uh, Burkina Faso has a history and tradition of revolutions. So, January uh, 1966. January the 3rd, I believe. Correct. And the second one, August the 4th, 1983, with Thomas Sankara. And now we have the October 2014 revolution. Uh, this one, uh, it, is, it was done by various groups in Burkina Faso, political parties, and uh, then which was uh, the, the arena of political parties was reinforced by people who defected uh, from Brad's Compare regime in the beginning of the year 2014. Uh, like more than 100 people left his political parties, among whom former prime minister, former president of the parliament, even the leader of Brad's Compare's ruling party. What caused the exit? Uh, because uh, people, people were suspecting Brad's Compare uh, to maneuver through the constitutional change to extend his time in power, but at the same time, you know, to choose his brother as his successor. So other people who were supporting Blaise thought that, you know, after Blaise Compaoli, they will have an opportunity for them to become present after him. But they realized that he was doing everything uh, for himself and for his brother, uh, with uh, Francois Compaoli. Okay, so this is, I think, the, the, uh, the, the pivotal act that pushed them to react. And then later on, they joined the opposition to denounce constitutional change because they say it was a threat to democracy and stability. So the opposition. Are there, are there a term in the constitution for the president? Yeah, there's a term called constitution. The, the first, con the, the, what I could call the constitutional uh, constitution in Burkina Faso, June the 2nd, 1991, like limited the presidential terms in two. At that time, the presidential term was supposed to last seven years. And later on, in 1997, Blaise Compaoré changed the constitution at uh, this time uh, so that you know, he can be in power for eternally. And then after the assassination of a journalist, Nobel Zongo, in 1998 or 1998, uh, the, there was like a public uh, uproar in Burkina Faso, and the people forced Blas Compaoré, you know, to uh, this time accept the constitutional change to bring back the limitation of terms. This time, the term was to be five years. So the, all that process was supposed to end in 2015, and now we saw Blas Compaoré for the last two years trying to maneuver Again, to change that limitation of term for him to be in power eternally. And this time, the people of Burkina Faso said, enough is enough. And then to answer your question, uh, the, 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 the group, groups of people, political parties, unions, women, and farmers, all of them were part of the process of the protest against Blaise Compaoré. But among you know, that, that galaxy of protesters, uh, there is a, we, there, we have to put emphasis on the youth movement. They call them the children of the revolution. Many of them were pioneers uh, when Sankara was alive, and some of them never, they never knew Thomas Sankara. They threw books or documentaries, and they learned about him. And then they were educated by uh, some uh, people who have a political consciousness, but who were singers, or who are singers. Uh, Smokey is one of them, he's a rapper. Sam Skaloja is a reggae singer and many others. They made songs on Thomas Sankara and to promote his values and doing concert. So it, it, it was a build up. It did not happen like that overnight. And last year, they created the Civic Broom Movement. The broom, which is the symbol to sweep the nation from the corruption and from corrupt leaders. And then they, they were touring the country, going to different parts, and, and doing community, community organization and community uh, engagement. And this is how uh, the people of Burkina Faso, with the struggle of political parties and different people, 
they decided to react this time, and it happened in October, the very month in which Thomas Sankara was assassinated in 1987. Paul, um, do you think that the youth um, were obviously, uh, you know, learning from Paul, uh, uh, from Thomas Sankara's history, but uh, but uh, do you think Arab Spring had something to do in terms of that inspiration? Without doubt, because uh, that's a global uh, level of the, this impact and what happened in Burkina Faso uh, last October. They they have to add something that uh, uh, on the numerous titles of this revolution, uh, the Black Springs, uh, the Children's uh, uh, Revolutions, Sankara's Children's Revolutions. I even read one, uh, the IIT Facebook uh, <laughs> Revolution, Facebook and Rastas re uh, Revolution. So <laughs> it's, it, yes, they 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 traveling, they have satellites in, in the countryside in uh, different countries in Burkina, uh, in Africa, including Burkina. They had they have Facebook and Twitter and uh, so what happened in Tunisia and other countries have a, yes, an impact. As long as conducted by youth and organizations, they can say, okay, we can do that too in, for the sake of the freedom for the whole population. So, yeah, it's not, uh, there is a, somehow a connection. Quickly, something I wanted to add that I mm -hmm. forgot to say in, one, in my answer. Uh, the youth movement in Burkina Faso, the, the rappers, they drew the movement uh, from a similar movement that ended with uh, 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 the former president of Senegal, desire or the stop his desire to change the constitution, to extend his time in power, and, and then to choose his son as a successor. And that movement in French, we call it Yanama. In English, it is, we are fed up. So it's similar things. And then the people of Burkina Faso, because of the connection with, they have with those people. So uh, before the Arab Spring, or uh, beside the Arab Spring, they drew also from the, the similar movement in Senegal. And um, uh, the difference between their movement and that of the Arab Spring or that of Senegal is that they, are, they have an inspirational figure who is a hero to millions in Africa, who is a Pan-Africanist and who was the leader of the revolution, Thomas Sankara. And then his values, that uh, came as a catalyst, uh, you know, to bring different groups of people together. And that's why that revolution has a particular echo. And also, because Blas Kampari the, was the puppet of the imperial system, and uh, because of it, the weight he had in the region, and being demoted or being ousted was a very important thing. That's why there is so much, so much, uh, uh, so much uh, buzz about Blas Kampari. And uh, tell me about the discontent of the youth. What are they facing? What are some of the realities? Is there joblessness? What is, what is compelling them into action? You, you name it. It's, uh, the first thing is uh, jobless uh, with or, and without degrees. Uh, and it's, we, Burkina Faso is a landlocked country without a lot of resources compared to certain countries in the same continent of Africa. But at the same time, the gap is huge, coming from people that are public servants. By definition, you should show the, as it's happened during the four years of revolution uh, with Thomas Sankara, you, you should give the first, the sacrifice, and show the, the example. It was not the case. The Blaise Compore, his brother, uh, and mother-in-law of his younger brother, and such of, what, a couple of uh, hundred people used to live in, uh, in front of people like they don't belong to the same country. You got people who don't have access to drinkable water, the, the electricity uh, constantly cut off because of uh, we don't have any energy, but they are in a city called Wagadumil which is a, a ghetto, that's how I call it, personally, a ghetto for rich people, <laughs> uh, built in 2000, has uh, the name indicated, Waga Demil, Wagadugu Demil. And, and 
by 10 blocks or a little bit further than that, they have people, as I said it earlier, that don't have water or electricity. So this kind of uh, 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 conflict of uh, social conflict, economic, whether you, you know somebody in the power or whatever you have, or, like talent or knowledge or degree or diploma, you, you, you cannot have a, a job. So they organized themselves and said, okay, the country is for ourselves. Let's put uh, equality, uh, equal justice, social justice, and no one is above the law. Yaka pointed out the, the, one of the, the crises in 1998 with the assassination of the journalist, Norbert Zongo. Uh, we had a, pretty much the same crowd, a little bit less, but anyway, that, that was in the same mind of organizing themselves to say no. And his success, yeah, bless comparison's regime, to, uh, to calm the, the, the anger that uh, took place for two years mm -hmm. in Burkina Faso. Yeah. So at, it's, it's combined it. And they, 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 don't, they didn't fix anything that can put a social justice or a balance between the different social layers. It's, what's your name? Are you a member of the, the political uh, Bless Compares regime? Uh, organization, uh, organization uh, is party or not? Otherwise, w w you you out of the, the the system. That's why million and million people said, okay, no, uh, we need justice, social justice, and need we, we need uh, equality. Um, what is the opposition uh, party look like? What are the politics of it? Um, the alliance with the people um, and this revolution. Uh, what is the nature of that relationship? The political, you got different, you have different uh, political party in the whole galaxies, to use a term uh, Nyaka, that Nyaka used. Those who are in a right wing, sort of speaking, uh, and the leftist one, they have contact with the people, but honestly, the, the real organization that had in few years, the contact at least with the the youth and the rest of the the, the people, that's the 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 broom of uh, uh, the citizen, the ballet citoyen in French. The, through their talent has has a singers, and don't forget the the third one who is a lawyer, mm -hmm. uh, three leaders and maybe more from this this organization. Through, through their talent, they, they talk to people with the songs and uh, went to uh, Thomas, uh, quote unquote, grave, because, by the way, nobody didn't see the, the body. Uh, Sankara's family, neither his wife nor the, the rest of the family saw the body of Thomas. So we don't know who is in the grave. So they went there and did some, you know, uh, video and have young people and Recently, they went to a, a, an hospital clinic, clean it up, and gave to a couple of uh, women who gave birth some basic gifts. Those women belong to really low-income families. That it shows what kind of uh, uh, action, political action, the the boom of the citizens uh, done before uh, Bless Compare Fall. I understand that one of the things that uh, the people are calling for is really an investigation of sort into uh, Thomas Sankara's death. Yes, uh, the, we, the family and over the family, because uh, Thomas Sankara doesn't belong anymore to just the biologic family, he's the one who uh, first said that you can assassinate me, but you can kill me, but mil more than a thousand Sankaras will reborn. I understood, I understood that that time that it was Sankaras in the spirit and by heart. And uh, indeed, today we have more and more Sankaras throughout the, the world. It, of course, for, for the simple reason, it's a human uh, 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 approach. Uh, somebody in a family has been assassinated. Nobody didn't uh, receive or see the body. We need to see 
exactly where are the remains. And then, by the way, uh, go through a, a DNA process to make sure that he is indeed Sankara who uh, is in such and such uh, tomb in Burkina Faso in the cemetery. And the third reason, it will help probably the scientists to uh, determine what's the cause, the cause of uh, Sankara's uh, death. Because the family has been given a piece of paper in which it said, death certificate. Yeah, the, the death certificate, the death certificate uh, died for natural causes. So it's, it, for all this reason, yes, it's, uh, <laughs> and the, the last but not least, I think that the, the youth, the political organization, and including for the interest of the, any government, you have to make some, uh, uh, some how do you say it, to put some light, uh, truth, and justice for many cases, like Thomas Sankara's uh, cases, Norbert Zongo, the journalist, and uh, such and such, because Blas Comporis, and this is statistics uh, recognized by everybody in Burkina, has more than 200 uh, uh, crimes in terms of uh, killing people. I'm not talking about the economic, uh, uh, you know, uh, bribery and corruption, and uh, that's, uh, and it's, it's a, above and beyond the small country Burkina Faso. Involving Ivory Coast uh, crisis in Angola, the diamond, Liberia, with Jonas Savimbi, the gold, and such and such. Sierra Leone, the coup d'etat in uh, Mauritania, etc. Et Liberia. Liberia. So uh, it's, it's hard for him to find after Ivory Coast because I'm pretty sure for the political, internal poli political reason, the government right now in Ivory Coast. Uh, we, we won't keep him longer than a few months, but <laughs> we will. We will definitely be continuing this uh, discussion both about Burkina Faso itself as well as the region at the Real News, and I hope both of you will join us in that uh, journey. Thank you very much, Sharma. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, and thank you for joining us on the Real News Network.